I'm gonna give you a quick update here on the channel. Uh, a couple things with the business, a couple things with what's going on in the world, and then just some other stuff there at the end. So let's start with a quick channel update. This channel will be changing. There's not gonna be any more Howard Stern stuff. Uh, we will be launching a podcast, so you can check that out uh, when we finally put that out there. And there'll be some other stuff coming along the way, more video game related stuff. We've got some interesting interviews with some of the um, founding fathers of the video game industry. I want to share that with you guys and some other cool retro stuff. So we're going to kind of get back to the basics of the brand here as we slowly rebuild coming out the other end of the coronavirus pandemic. So expect those changes. If you're uh, here for Stern stuff, again, there's no more of that. I, as far as, I haven't even listened to the show in ages. I, it's a shell of its former self, and um, I was discussing with somebody today, and, you know, just how great those old bits were and how what a different time it was. And I, I miss, you know, look, I, I miss the days of of hearing even Donald Trump call into the Stern show. It was a very different time, and. Um, but uh, but let's let's talk about what's going on in the world. Sure, there's an impeachment, all that stuff. But forget that. Okay, I call that the white noise that's left over from 2020. What's driving me nuts is the canceling of or the firing of Gina Carino, Gina Carano, however you say it, from The Mandalorian, because she said something, and I don't think that what she said was even something she should have been trying to discuss. At least not in a format like Twitter. Okay. Some of the things she said along the way, some of those points that she was trying to make are rooted in truth. And some of that stuff I actually agree with. And I'm not going to break it down for you. I'm just saying it's silly to fire somebody for what they said. And it points out the hypocrisies when you see the Pedro Pascal memes uh, talking about Nazi Germany. Again, it's a taboo subject matter and it's tough to touch because then everybody tries to take a side like everything else. And he's not wrong with what he was pointing out there, at least to a certain extent, but he was no more wrong or right than she was. So when you start to do these kind of things, it really is a slippery slope. And then again, are you really going to fire him? I'm pretty sure they reduced him to like a voice role and he's practically fired anyway, unrelated. So whatever. But it's silly to fire her. I mean, why not have a conversation? It's, it be, and I'll tell you why. But why not have a conversation? Because... You know, Disney is a company that owns Song of the South, a movie that I love. It's a technical achievement, and I think it's a great conversation starter for a lot of the things that are wrong or perceived to be wrong with the picture. They won't talk about it. They won't bring it out there. See, it's about protecting dollars, and, and everybody knows that. But when there are power structures at play, it doesn't become about what Gina said. It becomes about the perception surrounding what she said. So now we're firing her because of optics. We're not firing her because she did anything wrong, because she's got the ability to speak. It's called free speech, just like it's a free market. It's capitalism. If you like her enough, you're going to go follow her to her Ben Shapiro-produced movie, which I can't even imagine. But still, I'm not even like overtly defending the woman. I'm just simply saying it's out of whack, it's out of control, and it's got to stop. There's no reason to do something like that when all you're going to do is further point out the hypocrisies in this town and Hollywood is filled with hypocrisies. It's not about liberals. It's not about Republicans, left or right. None of that. In this town, it's all about the power and the money and everybody else. This town and Washington are very, very similar. So again, the firing of Gina Carano, I'm going to go with Carano, the firing of Gina, it's, it's again, it's like the same thing with James Gunn. We don't like the reaction to the things she said. Now, they ultimately hired him back because it's a different story. With her, it won't happen because of the toxicity of the culture we're in, particularly now. But it's silly. It's silly. It's it's bad. It's bad. We should be able to have things like, you know, free speech and conversation and dialogue. I feel like when you shut somebody down like that, what you're ultimately doing is you're, you're miseducating on the situation because, you know, <laughs> it wasn't smart for her to even start having these conversations in a forum like Twitter. T Twitter's too short form, but I get it. And sometimes when you feel like you have a platform, you want to be heard, and that's what she was doing. I get it. But just because she said something wrong, you don't just dump her. You have a conversation. The hypocrisy is out there. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. It's raw hypocrisy. 
And I'm not here to defend the right or the left. I perceive myself as an independent, always have, always will. And maybe others don't perceive me to be one or the other, but I don't, I don't like it. I don't like the idea that we cancel somebody for what they say. If she went out there and shot a couple people, take a hard look at it. She just sent out some dumb tweets. She made some points that you may or may not have liked. She made some points that may have been offensive to some people. I can tell you as a Jew, anytime people try to bring up the Holocaust and make the comparisons, it gets a little weird. But at the same time, I make those comparisons. And people didn't like it when I made those comparisons. But get over it. I made those comparisons to Trump. People didn't like it. So what? But it's it's called not being a hypocrite. So I don't like what she said, but I like I, I don't care. She's not talking about that stuff to me when she's Cara Dune. It's silly. It's silly. So now here's what's going to happen. D Disney Plus subscribers aren't going to take a big hit, okay? But here's what's going to happen. She's going to weaponize this. The right is going to weaponize this. And it's wash, rinse, repeat. That's how this goes. It's got to stop. It's got to stop. It's silly. It's silly. Everybody's got to get out of their corner, start having real conversations. Which brings me to my last point. There are some things that have come to my attention, both surrounding uh, my likeness, this brand, copyright, trademark infringement, and the like. I just want you to know I keep a lot of that stuff close to the vest as far as the uh, plans for the business and what we're doing. But we'll, as we develop, we'll share it with you. But the one thing I will not tolerate, the one thing I will absolutely not tolerate, is what's going on right now. Won't tolerate it. I'm going to leave it there. Please subscribe if you have not. Please unsubscribe if this isn't working out for you. C'est la vie. And we'll see you next time.